Hi, this is Mark Pizza Keller. Welcome to Three Minutes with Mark for September 2024. Now, in last month's Three Minutes, we discussed family fallouts and we looked into the lounge rooms of people to see what actually happens behind closed doors and the reasons for those fallouts. Now, today I'm going to focus on what you can do about it, but it does come with a warning, and that is that not all solutions fit all fallouts. And in particular, you need to assess the situation and see which process is going to provide you with the best results for your scenario. You need to identify what the issues are uh, and what's at stake. And sometimes that's money, but not always. It could be just lack of recognition for perhaps one of the members of the family. Now, when parties are firm in their positions and they're entrenched, um, you need someone to break that deadlock. And you can do that through a mediation. Now, that can be done by a professional mediator, of course, but it can also be done by a third party, accountant, lawyer, etc. Um, I have done that with, uh, uh, together with a lawyer and, and sometimes I did find that that provided some pretty good results in the context of you, you come at things from different perspectives. Uh, accountants and lawyers are quite different if you're not aware. Uh, and so that does bring uh, a nice blend to try and resolve what the family and business issues are. Now, if family members are still working together, uh, they have some tension, some issues, but they're not, they haven't yet taken root, um, then a workshop can provide some solutions for you. You do this through a series of questionnaires and interviews with stakeholders, the relevant stakeholders, family members, other people working in the business. We draw together the threads of the business operations and family situation and family expectations. Um, we try and understand everybody's perspective. And I remember on one occasion, one of the sons uh, married and their spouse was not allowed to attend a family meeting. And that caused all sorts of dramas at home. Uh, and then of course, it led into friction at work. So sometimes those are some of the issues that can come out from these scenarios. What we needed in that case was a, a family charter, which we helped them put together, uh, you know, sort out what the parameters are. Um, and so that way no one felt excluded. It also led into a brand new business plan that everybody got excited about. So there's some of the solutions, some of the benefits. There are many others, I should add, but at least it gives you an indication as to the sorts of things you can do when you have a family fallout. If there's any questions, by all means, give me a call. Speak soon.